the package. Oh my goodness, another one. That ain't how you drive. That, that's not how it works. We got a question about how hard is it to manual swap an E46 M3? We'll take this from the standpoint of trying to do it in your driveway, I guess. Step one is gonna be pretty straightforward in that you're basically doing a clutch on the car. So transmission's gonna come out, everything's gonna come apart, and you're gonna put new components in. Um, you're going to remove all of the hydraulics, all of the uh, SMG related components that control the manual transmission. Beyond that, with the transmission, you have to remove the bell housing, and the bell housing, which is the forward portion of the transmission, has to get machined and a couple of components added to it so that you gain the shift detents that kind of give the feel for positive engagement into the left to right movement of the shifter because the SMG transmission is able to just control that with hydraulics and sensors and know where it's at but as a, a driver with a manual transmission you have to be able to feel it and so those detents have to be cut into the bell housing some springs added a couple of other components and then there's a few sensors that get changed around you remove a cap and tap for the gear position switch, which lets the transmission know when the car is actually in gear so that the cruise control functions operate properly. So that's a little bit more involved than you'd normally get to. There's, there's some intricacies in putting all of that back together, mating the bell housing back up because you're actually exposing the internals of the transmission when you do that. So you have to seal it. You have to make sure everything's lined up properly when you go back together. You're gonna to put a new uh, input shaft seal on there so that you don't have any leaks or anything. Going forward from there, you've got a little bit of welding to get the shift bracket installed into place. And you've gotta have a decent knowledge and understanding of wiring to be able to wire in to the the DME, the clutch position switch, all of those functions so that you're able to start the car the way you should be able to. Um, that gets wired into a couple different modules and allows starting of the car and idle of the car to be proper, all of those things. And we go a little bit further, remove the old SMG pumps, so that requires removing the intake plenum and some of that other stuff. You just got a lot. It, there's, there's a lot to it. It's a couple days worth of work usually. Um, and then beyond that, once everything's put back together, you have to program code the DME so that it no longer is looking for an SMG control module and all of the inputs that get sent over to function properly. Um, and, That's a lot. Yep. Yep. And then interior bits you got to remove the shifter change all that out linkage pedal assembly the hydraulics all of the fluids it, it's there's a lot to it um nothing is insanely complicated it's not like rebuilding an engine from the ground up but it's also not 
not as simple and straightforward as doing brake pads or even just changing a clutch on a car. So it's it's pretty involved. And I think here in a week or two, Jay's going to have a full video for you on just a, a time lapse of us doing a manual conversion. Yeah, just bring your car here. This one's for uh, Ryan Farrell. These, these blue eyes right here, that's all natural, baby. Oh, John just said color of the week. If you guys don't know this by now, which, uh, how do you not know this? Color of the week, there's store blue. Man. It's color of the century. Color of the century, oh. Yeah, I know we've asked this, uh, asked this before, but new subscribers, what's your favorite color BMW? Just drop it in the comments, let us know. Oh man, I am struggling with the color. I am sorry guys, somebody's gonna complain about my filming today and I don't care. Bear. Sean's about to replace the hydraulic cylinders. Top's coming off. We're going with the yellow tape today. The other week it was blue. I've never seen the yellow paint tape. Sean, is Dan's that a... Been hiding from Dan's been hiding. If See, behind camera, you don't know how many Dan comments Sean has dropped today, but he's not here. Not, not Dan two, Dan one. And he's letting them rip. We're gonna take the top off this bad boy. Sean has already given y'all a breakdown of how this works. So an episode, I might throw it up here somewhere. But these do fail over time. And if you bring in the Atlas, I'm just one walking, talking call to action today. But nah, all seriousness, bring it here. These guys are great. They'll get it fixed, get it taken care of like true professionals. John as well. You already know what time it is. We selling a lot of these. We got first one here, 2019 BMW X3, 77,000 miles. And it is, I ain't about to say it. You already know what it is. It's clean, man. Look at this thing. It's sick. It's low key and it's a sleeper and it's for sale. Next, we have a 2018 BMW X3 M40i with 65,000 miles. Yo, this is it for me. Wheels, fire. The package, oh my goodness, another one. That ain't how you drive. That, that's not how it works. Anyways, got distracted. Yo, this bad boy, we covered this in detail in the last episode, so check out episode, oh my voice just cracked. Check out episode 71 on this one. Really nice. I mean, it's a little dirty, but last week in that video, sounds great. <laughs> Fast as all get out. I had an AMG GLB 35, and uh, this is faster than that. And it sounds way better than that. So pull up if you want to take a look at this guy. I do not think this will last long. And then, dang, this is clean too. Hold the phone. This gotta be an M340i, right? BMW X3, M40i. Oh my good. Not the carbon fiber. It's got carbon fiber. Hold on, it's tough, hold on. I mean, I like, I, like, I like this, 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 but hold on though, this kind of tough, I ain't gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, 2018 BMW X3 M40i with 68,000 miles. You already know what to do. Hit up Atlas Motor Co. near downtown Raleigh on Capitol Boulevard. I mean, which you should know that by now. It's, it's just crazy out here. Uh, but man, that's clean, man. I don't know. What y'all taking? We got yin and yang right here. What y'all taking? Which one? I mean, I'm sorry, man. I, it's the wheels for me. That's the difference. I mean, the, the, the package, the same package, but the wheels. It's the wheels for me, man. Oh, this is just clean. It's, it's, it's sleek. It's a winner. Winner? But they're all winners. You already know what to do. I mean, this is a 22, but it's the M package for me. This is a 22, but it's the M package for me. I'm, oh man, come on. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Um, tell us your opinion. Yeah, see you next week. <laughs> That's a good one.